Yep. Time for the daily bread. <laughs> You guys should know this. He can't tell right now because he's such a handsome man, but he's really <laughs> sick. I was, I, I knew that he was sick. He came out there with like a Pedialyte bottle, and I'm like, oh man, this guy's gonna puke on the stage Gangster. or what? But seriously, this guy was freaking Michael Jordan game six with 103 fever and just won the championship game already. So I'm proud of you. you killed it. it. Sounds uh, so dramatic. Dude, I, it was, I got emotional. I'm gonna start right at the bat, actually. You said something that I got emotional about. Okay. So you put, you put like two posts right back to back. And there was one post where it was you with like a Maserati, and you look dope with your cool shoes and all this. And then right next to that, you just put a picture of your face. Yeah. And you said alcohol. Yeah, I'm alcohol, right? Yeah. Alcoholic, yeah. And so you you said that one of them was more influential, more inf impactful. And I know for sure for yeah. me, it was the alcohol one. Yeah. So but why do you think that was for you and your brand? Because I'll give you the mic. Yeah, it's because it was it was it was putting the truth out there. And I think that so many people are afraid to put the real raw stuff out there. And by doing so, you give permission for somebody else to go and talk about their real stuff. Like you give the permission for somebody else to be like, oh wait, I have a problem in this other area. Like it may not be alcohol, it may be pornography, it may be adultery, it may be like just lack of work ethic, whatever that may be. But like by you exposing the raw stuff that you're struggling with, it gives other people, number one, the permission, but number two, they're like, oh, I'm not the only one. Like, oh, you mean I'm not the only one with this, this? I'm gonna ask you a heavy question to show you can get real. Yeah, let's do it. So I know that you are a hard worker. Like, no one outworks you, right? Yeah. And so, with that, there's a lot of sacrifice. I know you have a beautiful daughter, yeah. you have a beautiful wife, and I know that there's a lot of sacrifice with that. So the question is, how are you handling that? And also, is it worth it to you? Number one, it's definitely worth it. So I kind of wanted your input on like how you started and what your advice would be, would be for me, for someone that just brand new into the social media marketing and all that. Dude. I'm so glad you called today. You know why? I am I am speaking at an event next Friday. Uh, it's June 1st in Huntington Beach. Oh, and, wow. it, and it's on how to build a personal brand for people in the real estate industry. Wow. And, and what timing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a ticket for free. Seriously? Yep. You got it called into the uh, Q&A. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, get out of here, man. Yo. Yeah. Good to see you, man. How's everything? Uh, it's definitely worth it. Number two, how am I handling it? Um, not well. But I don't think anybody handles it well. Because it's difficult. Mm -hmm. But I'm handling it. Like, I'm handling it. Like, it's all, everything's about sacrifice. Everything that you do in life is sacrifice. Work. Literally. The only thing that works is work. Work. Love it. Love it. <laughs> and people talk about this work-life balance. I just personally believe that it's about going all in in all areas. And the reality is, is that when you go all in with your job, with your career, with your business, with the, whatever you're doing every single day, when you go all in, it gives you the ability to be all in. And I think the problem is the majority of us, the majority of people out there, don't go all in at work. And so that when they get home, they can't. They can't be. They can't be. They're they're present, but they're not available. Like they're there, but they're like on their phone. They're doing yeah. stuff all the time. Not to say that I'm not on the phone a lot, because my wife would be the first one on Instagram Live right now, telling me like, "Yeah, you're all on your phone." Like I still struggle, and that's the part where you talk about handling it. Like I still struggle with it daily, but I just know that what I'm doing now is to set up for five years from now. I really feel like you're gonna have to pay a price, but if you're gonna pay a price, you wanna pay it up front and in full. You're gonna pay the price either way. <laughs> for sure. I got, I, want, I know you're really busy, so I got one more question yeah. for you. 
So you are at the highest, one of the highest levels you can be in your sport. You know, you're not probably spending a lot of time watching Michael Jordan videos. You're, you are in the game. This is your sport. And so what's one thing that you feel like you did differently that just helped you explode, to just really get to that higher level that most people you feel like are kind of slipping? I think, so last year when I started putting myself out there on social media, I did it through Facebook Live. And I think it was that live aspect of being able to have that conversation with people. Like as people were commenting as I'm on Facebook Live, I'm, I'm replying, I'm, I'm talking back and creating this like one-on-one -on -one conversation with all these different people. And I built relationships with these people. Like there's probably 500 people that if you put their profile picture up on a board, I'd be able to tell you who they are, yeah. where they're from, and generally what they do or what they at least respond to. Yeah. yeah. And and that for me was huge in building an audience. Like I don't I never was interested in building an audience just to be able to say like, oh I have this many followers yeah. or this many likes or this many this. Like I wanted it to mean something in the ROI of actually impact. So we call it scaling impact. And that's what we're trying to do is scale the amount of messages that we get that are like life changing. And that's the encouragement to, to other people is like, hey like this guy got up there on stage like he wasn't very eloquent. He just said what he was thinking and what has worked and he kind of did his thing. Yeah. Like, that's to me like, it's it's also the easiest thing to do because it's just really cool. Thank you so yeah, much. Absolutely. Guys, this is Tyler Harris right here. Hey, we love this guy. <laughs> I know you do too. Adam Mockett. Make blessing. sure you look up The Mockets because his wife's a baller too. That's true. Love you guys. Thank you so much. What's up guys, if you have not yet done so, please like my Facebook page, then next to the like button, click following, which will bring a drop down, and when it says in the news feed, click see first. This will ensure that you will always see the content that we're pushing out. The last thing that we wanna have happen is for us to put out content that you actually want to see, but you don't. So make sure that you hit see first, and we'll see you next time.